Hello, this is Mark here at Gary's Guitars with another edition of Tube Talk. Um, we're going to talk about the 636, a favorite of mine, increasingly a favorite of a lot of people. I got my first 636 amp in 1990 from Gary at Gary's Guitars, and I still have it. Um, I really love the, uh, the low watt sound. The, a, a pair of 636 might make 12 watts on a good day. Um, some amps claim more, but wattage is a, another, that's another video. So it's a, it's a, um, it's an equation, and you can kind of cheat the numbers a little and claim to have higher wattage, but basically a pair of 6 v 6 is about 12 watts. So, um, there's a few things I want to talk about, and mainly uh, we're going to talk about groove tubes too, um, what are groove tubes and why, and this uh, 6 v 6 thing is a good way to talk about it. So, we're just going to start with, this is an American RCA from back in the day. Um, this right here, this is an American GE, similar construction, Oops. vintage American. This is a Chinese made groove tube. Um, now, groove tube is a brand, so you notice not similar construction. So, a getter on the top, but this does, has no getter on the top. Well, this one does. The other, the GE does. The RCA doesn't. Um, so, groove tubes uh, were a brand that was founded uh, in the 80s. When it was hard to get tubes, they would import tubes from Asia, usually sometimes Russia, and uh, but mostly they're Chinese tubes initially, and uh, they would um, sort them, brand them. Groove Tube actually invented uh, tube matching in the 60s and 70s. You just you had one tube go bad, you just stuck another tube in there uh, because manufacturers. Um, Mostly because manufacturers' um, quality control was good enough that most, most if you had two GE tubes, they were kind of the same. Uh, they were finding uh, Group Tube was finding these Chinese tubes were uh, very different. They were coming in with very different characteristics, so they made this grading system. Um, they would match the tubes so that they would work well together. And this enabled them to use more, reject less of a tube, so they'd be like, oh, this is a cool set. This is the hot set. And they were able to kind of create this grading system. Genius, really. Um, and then everyone uh, hopped to it and uh, also decided, figured out that matching tubes was a good way to prolong tube life, improve tube performance, and make biasing easier. So, what is Groove Tube today? Uh, Fender, Musical Instruments Corporation, they... Um, they bought Groove Tube. Uh, this has been a big trend. This was in 2008 when it was a huge trend of the big music companies buying up the littler companies for their brand name recognition. So, here is a new Fender branded Groove Tube. Here is. Whoops. Where is it? You tell I prepared. Well, I was going to sh uh, show this against a um, Russian-made tube, but the fact is, this is a Russian-made tube. Um, it's branded Groove Tube. It's uh, from the Saratov factory. And I was going to show you two tubes right next to each other that are from the Saratov factory, just to make the point. But, I mislaid one. Um, this is the vintage RCA, and this is the Groove Tube. Um, Saratov, Russian made. Uh, you'll notice one thing, and that is the uh, the top is glued on a little crooked on the Russian tube. That just happens. It it's aesthetic only. As long as there's a glue seal, and they put a good healthy glue seal in there. As a matter of fact, there's a little glue that's kind of come over the top here. Um, so the fact that some of these are glued on a little crooked, it matters nothing to the quality of the tube. It's just that's you know Monday morning tubes or something. <laughs> um, but if you look at these, the architecture of these are, is kind of similar. 
because and you see the bases are exactly the same. We'll see the Chinese base is shorter. And the RCA base is exactly the same as the Russian made base. A lot of Russian tube fa um, technology was taken from RCA. RCA had a deal in the 30s with uh, the Soviet government to bring in technology, radio technology. Uh, this was before the Cold War, so it, it seemed kind of right. And um, so this is the contemporary groove tube, now owned by Fender as a Fender brand. So there are less Chinese tubes. Fender used uh, Sotec tubes in their amps. They would have their Fender brand on it. But if you looked around, you could see that they didn't rub off all the Sotec um, designation. And so sometimes the Sotec logo would still be on it with the Fender logo over it. Sometimes you could just see some of the numbering or the OTK number that were on some of the older tubes. I don't know if they still do OTK. Um, but it was pretty apparent that they were using uh, Russian-made tubes, in, especially in the 90s and the early 2000s. Then they switched to Groove Tube because they own them. But now Groove Tube uses more Russian tubes. So the good news is this is a pair of Russian-made Celtic uh, 636s that um, that actually cost ten dollars less than the the actual uh, than the uh, electro harmonics you know branded ones and they're kind of identical. I should probably do another video just talking about electro harmonics and all their brands because they did another thing where they bought up a lot of brands. But that's for another video. That should do for now. So to summarize, groove tubes were at one time made in China now can be made or anywhere but now uh, appear to be Russian made uh, owned by Fender uh, the Chinese groove tubes some of them are fine we still find them in amps and um, vintage 636s you know the RCA's are pretty legendary uh, but anything USA made if you find new old stock like not used tubes they're probably going to be uh, exceptional compared to today's tubes so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Gary's Guitars, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Stop by. Have a good day.